everyone, this is Lola Reddy from Abstract Music Lab and today I'm back here in the Sound Design channel. Today I'm recreating a preset in Vito and it sounds like this. This is the original sound. And this is it in context and if you want to check the MIDI. This preset was taken for the Circulate Deep Sounds preset pack for Vital that you can check here in the description below. It's a new preset pack that Production Music Live has available, so go check it out for sure. And if you liked the video, hit the like button. If you loved it, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future videos from the Sound Design channel. But let's get down to business and let's get started with our sound design. We're gonna initialize Vital over here. But before initializing Vital, you're gonna have to use another full tool over here to create a little bit of bounciness in the sound. So if you don't have LFO 2, you can use Volume Shaper or if you don't have Volume Shaper, you can use Flux Mini 2. Available here in the description below and it's free. But let's get started with Vital. So here in Vital, we're going to initialize the preset. And for you to be able to make these presets, you're going to have to download the wavetables for Massive, which are available here in the description as well. But let's get started with it. We're going to first choose over here a rough math number two. And it sounds like this. We're going to put this frame all the way up and we're going to put the low pass all the way down. So essentially it sounds like a sine wave. We're going to put this minus 24 and the level all the way up. Now we're going to choose oscillator two. We're going to start here with the square saw number one. And in the square saw, we're just going to put this around over here. And we're going to put this to minus 24 as well. Lastly, we're going to choose here a sine square. And in the sine square, we're going to put this over here, the level all the way down. And essentially what we're going to use the sine square for, we're going to choose here in oscillator A, an FM from oscillator 3. And we're going to put this around 36%. Now we're going to just have to make this a little bit more plucky and we're going to make this plucky with the filter number one and with filter number two. So filter number one, it's going to receive sounds from oscillator one, oscillator two and oscillator three. Filter number two is going to receive sounds only from filter number one. And filter number one and number two are going to be analogs 24 dB. So it sounds like this. Now, key track of both of them all the way up and the resonance almost all the way down. 5% here, 2% over there. Now, cutoff of filter number one is going to be around six. And filter number two is going to be around minus 20. So it goes back to sounding almost like a sine wave. But now with envelope two, we're going to put the attack all the way down. We're going to put the sustain all the way down, release all the way down. And decay is going to go around 2.50, something like this. And we're going to modulate this filter number one and modulate filter number two. Filter number one is going to go around 30. And filter number two is going to go around 50. So essentially that is it for the voicing section. Now we're going to go into the effects section. And in the effects section, we're going to start with a distortion. The distortion is going to be first at 8.5 dB. And the mix around 70%. Now we're going to activate a reverb just to have a little bit of a tail with it. Size all the way down. Decay is going to go around 0.25 seconds and the mix around 15%. Now lastly, EQ. EQ, we're going to have a low shelf and a high shelf. So the low shelf is going to go around 1.6, around 70 semitones. And the high shelf is going to go around 3 dB, around 90 semitones. 
And now if you want to listen to it in context again. And that is it. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you loved it, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future videos from the Sound Design channel. And I hope to see you soon. This is Lilo Reddy from Abstract Music Lab. Cheers.